Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I am very excited to get to share with you the Winter Willow Nook box, which has been sent to me for review. So this is a proper winter box that is to be received and enjoyed in January. So it's not like it's something you would have been hoping to get in time for the holidays. But I think this is actually a wonderful time to get a subscription box for yourself now that sort of the chaos of the holidays has some subsided. Maybe you have a little extra spending money. Maybe you've done some exchanges and returns. Who knows? But it is really important to still uh, give yourself some self-care, some time off, even some retail therapy in the new year to keep things merry and bright. So I do have another important update. So I think this is really interesting and also very rare in the subscription box world. And that is actually a price decrease. Yes, indeed. So originally this box was listed at $104 Per quarter but she has decided to actually bring that down to $99 I know $5 might not seem like a lot but you know anytime you bring it under that hundred dollar mark I feel like it makes a difference and I think that does still include the shipping you would still get a nice discount about 20 bucks if you do the annual subscription it'll be 380 now I'm not sure if all these changes will have been made by the time this video posts hopefully but she, I know she was like been busy like the rest of us so I'm not sure if that's been done yet I will tell you that the code that I have for you will definitely work and that is Noelle Tan that will save you ten dollars so i'll leave all that information for you in the description box below as usual along with the link to the secret password giveaway and my instagram and all the things all the good stuff is down there in that description box you guys so check it out if you ever have any questions of course you can always leave your questions in the comments too uh so i just think that is really cool i know that she actually spent the most on this curation but i thought it was so refreshing to hear someone say that they stepped back they looked at the curation and they realized that maybe some people might not see the same value that she did and she really wants you to like enjoy all of the handmade products in there all of the beautiful original artwork but also to just feel like you're getting a nice deal and that is one of the things that I know that I do love about subscription boxes I know that some subscriptions and subscription box owners sort of like balk at that idea of you know it's not a value box I'm like but at the same time it is it's an opportunity to experience to discover new products artists makers but also it's an opportunity to do so at an affordable cost so I love feeling like I have got my money's worth plus a little bit of a bonus you know it doesn't have to be $300 worth or 300 times the cost of the box but for me value is still important and that's just that's just my two cents so I really appreciate that she took that into consideration as well in terms of lowering the price so that it feels like a box that you will also appreciate and feel good about purchasing for yourself or for someone else I have some other good news too and I'm gonna make sure that this goes up before the end of the year and that is that there is an early subscriber discount where you can get the box for $95 until New Year's so uh, that should be all posted and updated on the site but I'm sure you could always is just uh, DM or email her too about that, but it should be $95 if you subscribe before the end of the year. And also for those of you who have already pre-ordered it at that 104, she's going to figure out a way to credit or refund you. So don't worry about that. But again, I just think that is something to really be lauded and appreciated. So let's get into the box. Yay, 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 yay. I really loved her limited edition holiday box. I thought it was so lovely. I really, really loved the cards because she always does some lovely artwork for the quarterly box uh, usually to uh, sort of zhuzh up a recipe from subscribers but I, I loved that she did greeting cards for the holiday box because she didn't necessarily have a recipe for it so we have our little card that says what's inside the box and of course it is listing the MSRPs and just remember even though sometimes I sort of scoff at MSRPs that is the manufacturer or the retailers suggested price the boxes themselves have nothing to do with that they are just listing the price that these other companies have listed their products at so you know whether or not you think it's worth it sometimes if it's an in-house product or it's white labeled that's where I can be especially skeptical but it is no fault of any of these subscription boxes what the MSRP is right unless it's like made in-house like I said so let's go ahead and read the letter on the other side so a little reading for me sorry hello dear friend as we close out 2022 and begin the next chapter of Willow Nook as well as our own lives I just want to say how much I truly cherish and appreciate your presence and support. The holidays are always a chaotic time that seems to 
come to an abrupt halt on New Year's Day. With that in mind, the focus of this box is self-care. Use the items in your winter box to decompress and begin your journey into the new year with your wellness as your priority. This winter box is our fourth box and the final of Willow Nook's first year. I just, I think they've had a phenomenal first year. This box also has the most handmade artisan items of any of our boxes so far. I sincerely hope you love all the products you receive. Happy New Year and have a wonderful winter season, Carissa. And again, that is like that value is amazing because you know we're always saying that you should shop local shop small business and obviously that the prices are going to reflect that too so says uh, I love the uh, suggestions for how to use your winter box but that would give you too many spoilers so I'm going to turn it the other direction and maybe we'll have some time to uh, see how to use our winter box although I have a feeling some of the items will probably be pretty self-explanatory but there is our little uh plaid sticker with willow nip box on it and some pretty snowflake tissue paper that I could have used in some of my um uh, my wrapping for the holiday but uh, I've had a couple of boxes sort of waiting for me to unbox them. Nothing really exciting under the tree because you guys know my husband and I like to give each other experiences and trips for the holidays so very rarely do we have something wrapped underneath the tree. So I love I love the luxury of having these boxes that I get to open along with all of you. So let me see. There's one big box. So I kind of, and I think that it is actually what it says on the box. Wow, there's actually quite a few items. So let me do a quick count with my with my eyeballs. It looks like there are eight items in here. All right. So let me just go ahead and get started with the biggest one, and maybe I'll be able to get the box down. So it looks like we have a nice uh, tea infuser. It's a glass glass. <laughs> so a glass cup. It's a Criano tea glass. So let's see. If it has it in English. The new independent tea glass with integrated glass filter and lid. Convenient, quickly cleaning without dripping. These are the versatile attributes of the Criano tea glass all in one. So I'm pretty sure you're familiar with um, tea infusing glasses, but I love clear glasses for beautiful teas just to see the color, even for coffee. So here is the filter. You can actually see the little holes. So you uh, have to do kind of bigger loose leaf tea with that. It's not like the finest like mesh, um, but hopefully my glass is intact. I have had some broken items in the last uh, couple of weeks, which is to is understandable considering you <laughs> see my boxes get chucked. All right, you guys. So I actually have a couple of clear glasses, um, mugs. This one has a really nice shape to it. Yes, you're going to get that ring light reflection. I apologize. But then it looks like this little infuser is going to sit right inside of that. And that looks really pretty as well when you're watching the color of the tea kind of go through. So it's not going to work for coffee. It's definitely for tea. You could probably use it for like fruit water as well if you just wanted like hot water with lemon in it maybe some honey if you're uh, fighting off a cold and it does have a nice little lid to keep the steam to keep the warmth inside of there so that is a lovely item the all-in-one tea glass with glass filter and lid it's 400 milliliters from Criano and it has a $23 MSRP that actually seems right to me so okay oh and to go with it so I figured this was to go with it it's a blooming flower tea so silver needle green tea with marigold jasmine and globe amaranth so it's a tea ball have you ever got have, have you guys ever gotten one of these blooming tea balls they are so cool so I actually bought a clear teapot for these blooming flower teas because I was actually in Montreal with one of my friends and we went to this tea shop that was amazing like amazing amazing and they had these beautiful glass teapots I didn't pick one up because I was traveling and I didn't want to have the responsibility of getting it home in one piece but I did get some of the blooming flower teas and it is just it's so pretty so with the blooming flower teas though you guys you wouldn't use that um you wouldn't use that tea infuser you wouldn't use that little inner cup because then the flower wouldn't get to totally blossom completely and it just looks really neat when it's floating in the water um, but there's not a lot of loose bits so you might want to strain it when you decide to drink it but you don't really need to it's all kind of in one big piece so let's see 
she does have a couple pictures oh okay <laughs> my little tea balls fell out so it like looks like little mothballs but they will actually blossom into a gorgeous flower like you know it's definitely a wet flower but it's really really pretty so you wouldn't necessarily put that into the strainer you want it to actually get to open up in the water in the full cup or like I have I have my my teapot and it looks kind of like a little lily in in there so very very cool I did kind of get some on my desk but that's all right so the uh, blooming flower tea pack of four from Dora T has a six dollar MSRP that's actually totally fair I'm not sure usually the ones I've seen they look a little bit more like flowers already these look like they're actually gonna have quite the transformation as they sort of unfurl um, but those ones that I've gotten before and I think we've gotten them in maybe an etoile box a long time ago different brands um, they were definitely like six dollars a piece they were they were not six dollars for just for four of them so so far honestly I think the value has been great on this box and then to go with it I love that they all kind of came out of the box in the right order we got some Laura's uh, honey and it's a lavender honey whip whipped honey Ooh, I love whipped honey with lavender so you can actually see it I'll show you the lavender in there love that love the flavor of lavender for a while I was like oh I don't like the feeling of like eating flowers but um, I've come to love culinary lavender in all kinds of things a more like savory things and sweeter things like a lavender tea a lavender uh, scone lavender honey sounds great too and this is handmade whipped honey with lavender from Laura's raw honey with a five dollar MSRP that seems totally fair there's a lavender farm on Maui and I can tell you right now that nothing in there is five dollars um and so and I love to go to it I do love going to a Lee Kula lavender farm though so I haven't gone the last few times because I haven't spent much time up country which is where I'm from but I'm gonna have to go next time and stock up on all of my favorite things okay so something was bubble wrapped I didn't show you it before the bubble wrap oh my goodness this is so pretty so this looks like the holiday cards that were included in the holiday box but it's a flat candle so you can see the two wicks there at the top I have to read about this so it's a snowy cardinal on pine branch flat candle it is handmade let me open this up from flat flatties it's f-l-a-t-y-z it has an 18 dollars msrp at first I thought it was like printed on a bar of chocolate in all honesty this is so neat I don't know how you use this though so handcrafted decorative candle drip resistant scentless smokeless self extinguishing the steel base is included so you can I don't know how you use this so this is the steel base so I guess you can just sit it up wherever you want to um, so it says inspired by changing the conventional way of candle making Flatties began its story in 2012 so I'm just trying to read it you guys sorry uh, but it looks like oh so this stand will actually come apart and stand up so I'm not sure how to do that okay so this little piece comes out and then you can stand it up like this and then burn your candle so I'm not gonna actually click it into place this second because I don't want to mess up the candle but that is super easy to use and I think that is so neat it doesn't look like a chocolate bar but how pretty I think that's really neat I and mean, I love the little like bubbles the little bit of texture at the top that's a really cool way to have your artwork uh, turned into a home decor piece all right let us see what else we have I'm trying to do stuff in order but I'm gonna have to give up on that we also always get our little willow nook books uh, vinyl sticker this is from whispering willow it is a hand and cuticle salve in the scent of chai it is 1.5 ounces so lovely this is another handmade item so half of the items in here you guys are handmade which is pretty impressive so this is from whispering willow it has a $13 MSRP that seems fair uh, cruelty free scented with essential oil handcrafted in North Carolina so again it is just a nice cuticle salve let me see if I can open it up it's probably going to be a little tricky so ooh, ooh, that smells that smells like chai not too sweet though which is what I love 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 I used to that used to be my drink at the old Starbuckles was you know a grande um, non-fat chai with just like one pump of the syrup because I didn't like it to be too strong Wow, we've got like a lavender theme going here. I'm into it. So we have the lavender honey and we have a lavender eye mask. It says, drift away to blissful sleep with the relaxing scent of lavender. This is from a company called Mindful Modern and it came in here. And it also needs to be opened. It's got some uh, tape going on. 
you guys one of these days i'm going to have to organize my desk a little bit better for this so we love a lavender eye mask now you guys know i don't like to wear eye masks to sleep but sometimes if i do have a headache or it's just been a long day i will sacrifice the eyelashes and just go ahead and put that on there love that it's in a nice dark color too let's see what this is so this is lavender and flaxseed. So it's got that nice weight to it. Uh, eye mask for Mindful and Modern, and it has a $30 MSRP. So nice and simple. Oh, so it's got some like nice little like flex in it. And then you can unzip it. So I'm sure that there's like a pouch in there so you can wash this. Yeah. So there's a pouch in there that also has a zipper, but that way you can take the eye mask off and uh, you could probably wear the eye mask by itself. So it has the elastic here and it's an adjustable elastic and it's adjustable by sliding versus elastic uh versus velcro which my hair appreciates it's in a nice black with some like kind of goldy flex on it but you could you could just wear it as a soft eye mask too you could take the pillow out of it if you don't need that weight if you're just traveling or something but it's a very nice soft material as well so i appreciate that now you probably would uh not want to put that in the microwave to heat up but like i know you can with some of them because it does have have metal on that slider closure but I love that it is in black I love that it's simple I love that you can take the uh, pillow outside of it and again that has a value of $30 this is stunning I love this I know I saw a couple of reviews of people who've seen this box already on other channels who are really upset and thought this box was not worth it so I didn't want to uh, be swayed so I didn't watch yet this is beautiful. This journal is gorgeous. So it actually has a wood cover with this cutout. And then let me show you. Then you have this starry page. Oh goodness, there was a bookmark inside that I totally missed, which well, you'll have to see later. So this is so pretty. It's a Starry Mountains wood journal. It is handmade. This also has an MSRP of $30. I think it's just a Willow Nook uh, bookmark, so I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it too much because I don't wanna pick it up with my feet. Although you guys just saw in another video recently, I uh, I did uh, kind of pop out of, the, uh, out of the screen there for a second. Let me see, can I get it? I don't think so. That's all right. But I just think this is so pretty. I love anything that's kind of like mountainy. I wish I was, I have like these like aspirations of being a like outdoorsy person. I'm not as outdoorsy as I would like to be. Let me go ahead and reach this. All right. So my toes could only do so much. So it says never stop blooming. Oh, it's kind of like a bookmark, but it's, it's pretty enough that I'm glad I picked it up. So it says Willow Nook Box at the bottom never stop blooming and then it has that really pretty image on it so that's so lovely just a little extra but this is beautiful it's from bumble and birch it's 120 pages it's eight and a half by five and a half it's sustainable it just has that spiral binding which you guys know i love because i like to be able to turn tear out a page it has the nice double spirals uh, so it turns well the pages will fold back on themselves and as a I think it's dark blue maybe it's black I think it's black just simple uh, white pages it has that nice soft smooth texture uh, which is great for the kinds of inky pens that I love to use plain black on the back I think this is gorgeous I think it's a beautiful journal and you guys know I'm a fan of lots of stationary stuff so I think we're almost there um, it says that we are going to also have our recipe. So this is for Agne Ag Ang Anganetti. Anganetti cookies. Woo, that's hard. A um, Maffeo family recipe. I am so sorry. Uh, so Anganetti cookies, which must be like Italian. So it was submitted by Trisha Zoldak. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out because... I just think these are always really pretty. And if you have a uh, space in your kitchen, I have like no wall space in my kitchen. I have like a teeny tiny like Guinness print because we got that in Ireland. Um, but uh, look at this, this is so pretty. I love that she does this. So it actually says, you know, number three, November, 2022. Uh, and then we've got this big mason jar of iced tea with lemon, Ugh, doesn't that look good? And these beautiful little puffy cookies. Uh, that actually sound like I could make them. So you put some lemon extract in there, confectioner sugar, rainbow nampre sprinkles. Ah, dip the cookies in the icing and add the sprinkles on the top. This just looks like a lovely, lovely treat. It looks a little, because of the lemon and the iced tea, it looks a little summery, but these could just look very snowy as well, especially if you put like silver sprinkles on top. It could definitely be like a winter cookie recipe, right? Um, it sounds really good. I'm not familiar with them. I'm, I have a feeling that they're like a, more of a crunchy cookie versus a soft cookie, but 
who knows if you are familiar with these lovely unganetti cookies please let me know but that is all the items that we got in this gorgeous box for $99 a little bit less if you subscribe before the end of the year and of course a little bit less if you are able to do that annual subscription so we got our tea glass which is beautiful for our blooming tea we got the lavender honey to go along inside of it we got our beautiful candle the starry mountains journal the chai hand and cuticle salve the lavender lavender and flaxseed eye mask and then of course our recipe print which I thought it was another great box from Willow Nook personally this is one of my favorite uh, sort of small business quarterly lifestyle boxes these days I think they've had a great debut year if you enjoyed this video please help me out with a thumbs up and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing